Hello, boys and girls. Ready to learn a fun way to do rounding? Get ready for an exciting and easy way to round whole numbers. What is rounding? Rounding is the process based on knowing the multiples of 10, 100, and so on. Rounding is a process of finding the multiple of 10, 100, or 1,000 closest to a given number. Listen to this rounding wrap that I found to help you remember the rounding steps. It goes something like this. Find the place value, circle that digit, move it to the right, and underline it. Zero to four, the number stays the same. Five through nine, add one to the game. Now flex your muscles like a hero. Digits to the right change into zero. All the other digits remain the same. Now you're a winner at the rounding game. Wasn't that a very cool rap? But not just knowing the steps to rounding are important. It is also important for us to remember the place value of whole numbers when rounding. Let's take a look at this number. 987,654,321. Let's quickly review the place value of the digits in this number. The digit 1 is in the ones or unit place. The digit 2 is in the tens place. The digit 3 is in the hundreds place. The digit 4 is in the thousands place. The digit 5 is in the ten thousands place. The digit 6 is in the hundred thousands place. The digit 7 is in the millions place. The digit 8 is in the ten millions place. And the digit 9 is in the hundred millions place. It is very important for us to remember our place value in order for us to round. So, knowing now our place value as well as the steps to rounding, let's round 22,372 to the nearest hundreds place. The first step says that we find the place value and circle that digit. We are trying to round to the nearest hundreds place. So we circle the digit in the hundreds place. That digit is the digit 3. The next step says that we move to the right of that digit and underline it. In this case, the digit to the right of 3 is the digit 7. Now, it says 0 through 4, the circle stays the same. We underline the 7 in the tens place. If the number we underlined is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, we leave the number in the circle alone. The number we underlined is a 7, so this step does not apply to us. 5 through 9 add 1 to the game. We underline the 7 in the tens place. If the number we underline is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, we add 1 to the number in the circle. The number we underlined is a 7. So we add 1 to the number in the circle and 3 plus 1 will give us 4. Now flex your muscles like a hero. The digits to the right change into zero. All the digits to the right of the number in the circle change to zero. The tens place and the ones place are to the right of the hundreds place. So, the seven and two both change to zero. 
All the other numbers remain the same. Now you're a winner at the rounding game. So in this number, we leave the two in the thousands place and the two in the ten thousands place the same. We just rounded twenty-two thousand three hundred seventy-two to the nearest hundred. The nearest hundred is twenty-two thousand four hundred. Twenty-two thousand three hundred seventy-two is closer to twenty-two thousand four hundred rather than twenty-two thousand. Three hundred. Now, let's try to round five hundred forty-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-two to the nearest thousands place. Let's remember our steps. The first step says that we must find the place value and circle that digit. We are rounding to the thousands place, so we are going to circle the number in the thousands place. The next step says to move to the right and underline it. The place to the right of the thousands place is the hundreds place. We're looking now at the number that we underlined in the hundreds place, zero through four. The circle stays the same. Nine is higher than four. So we move to the next step because this step does not apply to us. Five through nine, add one to the game. The number we underlined is a nine. We add one now to the number that we circled. When we add one to nine, we get ten. But oh no! The number ten has two digits in it. Here we must now regroup. Nine plus one gives us ten. So we regroup that one to the ten thousands place. Four plus one gives us now five. Now we move to the next step. Where we're going to flex our muscles like a hero, because all of the digits to the right change into zero. So the digits to the right of the thousands place all change into zero. The nine in the hundreds place, the nine in the tens place, and the two in the ones place all change into a zero. All the other numbers. Or digits remain the same, and now you're a winner at the rounding game. So the five in the ten thousands place and the five in the hundred thousands place remains the same. We just rounded five hundred forty-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-two to the nearest thousand. The nearest thousand is five hundred fifty. Thousand five hundred forty-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-two is closer to five hundred fifty thousand rather than five hundred forty thousand. Remember, boys and girls, to use the rounding steps to round to the nearest ten, hundred, or thousand. Find the place value. Circle that digit. Move to the right and. Underline it. Zero through four, the number stays the same. Five through nine, add one to the game. Now flex your muscles like a hero. Digits to the right change into zero. All the other digits remain the same. Now you're a winner at the rounding game. This video was created by Miss. Antonia Bain.